fun and frivolity, baseball and blah, 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 blah. And what they're doing here is $2 million is part of something called the All-Star Legacy Initiative. And it's supposed to be used to renovate certain projects that are currently underway at the city level. And in this case, it's going to be going towards the Rainier Playfield that's located in the Columbia City neighborhood. This according to Como TV. Now, that's all well and good. Yay. But it's more like the $2 million is just going to be a reimbursement, at least partially, for what the city is about to spend money on. Something that it shouldn't take an all-star game to do, which is clean up downtown and Pioneer Square. As we told you when the president was in town several months ago, last year, there was this encampment, this series of tents, really, near the light rail station that's closest to my apartment. And it had been there for a long time, long enough where if I opened my window, I could start smelling the encampment at some point. If on a day where there's just a little bit of a breeze, boy, would that get to my apartment. It's not pleasant. And the second that we learned that President Biden was coming to town, staying at the Westin Hotel that's about a block away, not even, all of a sudden, bam, it was cleaned up. They got rid of that. Oh, it had nothing to do with Biden. That was scheduled to be cleaned anyway. Uh Uh-huh, right. So ahead of this All-Star game, we know exactly what's going to occur. They're going to start cleaning things up downtown in Pioneer Square, in Soto. They're going to start cleaning it up. Here's a problem, though especially if we have nice weather that week, and I imagine given the date, we probably will. Good luck handling the homelessness crisis in that area once you clear it a few days beforehand. Good luck keeping them back, to, to keeping them out, because they're going to come back. Understand that this is not a, a one-time encampment that's set up. For those of you who have gone to downtown or Pioneer Square lately, You know exactly what it is I'm talking about. For those of you who haven't been down there for a while, ooh, it has um, changed pretty significantly. And so once you do the clearing, how long before they return? I'm willing to bet they clear it July 5th and 6th. They're back on the 9th. Because you've got the Union Gospel Mission down there. You've got the service providers down there. They bring the homeless to the area. And a lot of times they just kind of stay there. They don't leave. What's been going on in 3rd and Pine? Previously it was cleared. It was a mess. Well, it's starting to get bad again. It's not nearly as bad as it once was. Thank God. But it's starting to get that homeless addiction brand again. 